Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference and a service in the honor of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. I thank you for being able to join me um, on this Sunday morning. Well, I got to tell you guys, let me tell you. Um, I had opened my Bible um, a moment ago. And I got to tell you, uh, when I opened my Bible, my eyes landed, <coughs> excuse me, it's early, y'all. Um, my, my eyes landed on a scripture. Now, how many of you have ever done that? You just opened the Bible and your eyes just landed on a particular, on a certain scripture. Well, that's what just happened to me a moment ago. And I'm, I decided to use that scripture because, you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. The Lord works in mysterious ways, and everything happens for a reason. And I believe this is a scripture that God wants me to speak to the masses this morning. But the scripture that my eyes landed on, I just opened the book, and I, I, it opened in the book of Joshua. And it was Joshua chapter 7, and my eyes landed on verse 13, which reads, Up, sanctify the people. And say, sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, there is an accursed thing in the midst of thee, O Israel. Thou canst not stand before thine enemies until ye take away the accursed thing from among you. My God, my God. God is talking this morning. Father is talking this morning, I'm telling you. And when my eyes hit that scripture, I had to write it down. I, I wrote down the time and the date and the scripture. And then I um, defined sanctify because I want the legitimate term, not just me rambling around trying to break it down and explain what sanctification is. But sanctify means set apart as or declare holy consecrate that's the message for somebody out there for some folks out there today consecrate yourselves before the lord because there is an accursed thing my gosh my god taught holy ghost among you there's an accursed thing among you i don't know what environments you all are in whether if it pertains to your home life your workplaces your colleges out just out in society in, a, in general but I want you to know that Satan has his agents out here now this particular scripture may just be in reference to something else as it pertains to the Bible but I decided to use it for uh, a conference topic this morning to let somebody out there know there's an accursed thing among us there's something out there there's something in the midst of you that is being used by Satan to steal and to kill and to destroy. Can I talk this thing out this Sunday morning? There is something that the enemy has his hands on that he is using to utilize against you to destroy you in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Because the devil desires to break your spirit. Come on and hear somebody. He wants to break your spirit. He wants to take your inner man. Because if the devil can destroy you from the inside, then he know that the manifestations of his spiritual attack will show on the outside. And that is the reason why you've got people walking around looking like the walking dead. They ain't got no joy. Because the devil has done something to them to destroy them. To hurt them, to attack them, to mutilate them. And God has his men and women, his soldiers out here on the battlefield. To lead people out of the wilderness as we cry as a voice in the wilderness like our brother John. To lead somebody to a God that can show them the way, that is the truth, that is the life. And lead them out of the, of the, of the clay that they have fallen into by way of unclean vessels that Satan is utilizing against humanity. 
Do not feel for one iota that the devil is not on top of his game. The devil is on top of his game. For the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Satan walks to and fro in the earth seeking whom he may devour. And the enemy will try to, de to destroy you in many ways. He will try to destroy you physically, mentally, and emotionally. Physically, by way of your health. Mentally, by the way of the way your mind works. What you allow to take up residence on your mind. Who you all allow to take up residence in your mind. Because let me tell you something. Satan wants to be a hot topic in your mind. The devil always wants to remain relevant or, or feel that he's, he or she is relevant to your life. That's the reason why you have to feed yourself the word of God and you have to meditate on Jesus Christ. You have to meditate in scripture. You have to um, abide in Jesus and allow Jesus to abide in you. And in that way, Satan cannot live in your minds rent free. He can't live in your heart rent free. He can't live in your spirit rent free because what the devil wants is a spiritual connection with you. That's what he wants. He wants to remain relevant so that he can manipulate you. There's an unclean thing in the midst of you out there. No matter what your environment, there's something there's something that the devil, somebody, it could be anybody. Or it could be a thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person, a, per, a people, places, or things. But let me tell you something. Up. Sanctify the people. And say, sanctify yourself against tomorrow. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, there is an accursed thing in the midst of you, O Israel. Thou canst not stand before thine enemy until you take away the accursed thing from among you. It could be uh, an idol, idolatry. It could be whatever, an idol God. Do you know that people can be an idol God? People may say, how can you make somebody an idol God? Anything that you exalt above God. Any, I'm hearing it. I've got to say it like I'm hearing it. Anything that you exalt above the knowledge of God is your idol. It could be people. It could be a person, place, or thing. But it is a curse. It is something that is set before you by the devil himself, most likely, to hinder you. And the reason why I say the devil himself, most likely, is because a lot of times God will bring something before your eyes to test you, to see if you will be led astray by a person, place, or thing, whatever your respective cases may be. See, it's a test from God, but it is the temptation from the devil because God tempts no man. God tempts no woman. God will test you. He wants to test your character. He said, thou shalt have no other gods before me. A God before him can be a spouse, which can serve as an accursed thing. It could be um, a girlfriend, which can serve as an accursed thing. It could be a boyfriend, which can serve as an accursed thing. It could be a friend. <clears throat> excuse me, which can serve as an accursed thing. See, the devil may not want me to get this message out, but it's going to come. It could, be, it could be your family members, or if it's not your family members, it could be your bloodline folks. Anything that is among you that you prioritize before God, even if you're not interacting with it, it could be somebody just taking up residence in your mind or trying to. So you got to understand something. The devil, is he, he's like a magician.